All right, we've got Dune casting news, the return of Zack Snyder, and Matt Reeves the Batman, right now on Miscast Entertainment News. Here's Johnny. I love the smell of my cup in the morning. Get to the All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Miscast Entertainment News. I'm your host, Greg Cafaro, and with me, as always, is William Davis Moore. This guy. That guy right there. <laughs> All right, so we've got a lot of news to get to, so let's just get right to it, okay? Yeah, let's do it, man. All right, so first up, we've got some uh, casting news for uh, director Denis Villeneuve's Dune reboot. I can't wait for that, man. I am so <laughs> pumped for this movie. It's probably going to bomb at the box office like everything else he does, but it's also going to be like the most epic thing in the world. So yeah, I don't even care about the box office. I know, anymore. man, you the know? box offices. Do whatever. you enjoy it or are you not? I want a good movie. I could give shits about like the formal formulas and shit. Exactly. You know? So it's gonna. we just know it's going to be epic based on what yeah. we've seen. Everything that this guy has put out so far has been like, yeah triple a you yeah, know it's so freaking real art too man. oh it's, it's a beautiful stuff. beautiful stuff so we already knew that timothy calame was cast as paul atreides the main star right okay that was played by kyle mclaughlin in the uh 84 movie kyle mclaughlin and there was another dude in the sci-fi uh yeah movie. we don't count that <laughs> um uh, who who actually watched that one i did it was you good. Did? it was okay. really good it followed the book a lot closer than the movie yeah and it was I mean, like it, a, it was like a mini series yeah, it was it a long was, thing so time. now we've got some more casting news we got news that oscar isaac is going to be playing uh duke leto his father that motherfucker's in everything. Everything. Dude. Like he literally, he is in Get it, every Oscar. time I look, he's like in the background somewhere. He's in that freaking uh Eternity's Gate with the foe. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He pops up all over. Star Where's Wars. he have the time, man? Hey man. And now we also have word that Zendaya, who played MJ in okay. Spider Man yeah. Homecoming, is in talks to play uh Paul's love interest, Chani. Who was played by Sean Young in the original? Oh, okay, the, uh, right. yeah. That was like that name doesn't ring any bells, man. Yeah, well, yeah, I, don't, I had to look that one up. I don't remember the names either. <laughs> so, other uh, previous announced cast members include Charlotte Rampling as the head of Jessica's Order, um, some high priestess thing. Uh, you got Dave Batista as Beast Raban, Robin. I don't know how to say it, uh, and St Stellan Skarsgård as the evil Baron Harkonnen. Cool. Yeah, I think he was the redheaded dude that floated around with the yeah. pus, pustulating yeah. skin. I don't know if disease. they're going to go all that route. I don't. I don't know. We'll see that how that goes. Was awesome. But I mean, he. <laughs> uh, I think that's perfect casting. Yeah. With uh, with Stellan Skarsgård. Yeah. You know, there's no release date quite yet for this one, but the earliest we'll probably see is probably somewhere in 2021. It's going to it take like a while. The Tesseract versus Spice. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, maybe we'll see what happens. Stalin the brings the, the tesseract. <laughs> the All right, so yeah, so I'm pumped for that one. Yeah, I'm done. Uh, the cast is shaping up really nicely. It's got a really high powered. It's gonna be yeah, awesome. It's gonna be great. Yeah. Man. Next up, we've got uh, THR. The Hollywood Reporter is reporting that James Gunn is now confirmed to be directing the next Suicide Squad movie. Before it was just a rumor. He was confirmed to just be writing it, but now he's actually going to be directing it. He's back. He's back. So Disney, you screwed up. He's back with DC now. But now, instead of it being a sequel, it's actually going to be like a relaunch of the movie. There's going to be God. new characters, uh, uh, a new cast. That one's uh, set for August 2021, and it's going to be produced by Zack and Deborah Snyder. Yep, all right. They're okay. the team. They're always They're the team. So, yeah, so I'm, I'm hyped for that one. And speaking of Zack Snyder... He's back. Yes. He's back. He has signed with Netflix to direct a brand new zombie movie. It's called Army of the Dead. It's the first time he's been in director's chair since the, you know, the tragic family uh, right. death of his daughter. Right, so right. All, that, all that horrible stuff. Army of the Dead is going to be the title of it for Netflix. They're giving him a $90 million budget. And he came out and said, there are no handcuffs on me at all with this one. No one's ever Good. let me completely loose like this. So he's Good. pumped for this one. Uh, what we're hearing is that uh, this script actually was based on a script that they had done right after uh, Dawn of the Dead came out years ago. It's been sitting on a shelf for like 10, 10 or so years now. All right. And uh, it's an adventure is set, the adventure is set amid a zombie outbreak in Las Vegas during which a man assembles a group of mercenaries to take the ultimate gamble, venturing into the quarantine zone to pull off the greatest heist ever attempted. I read All that right. the, <laughs> I read that the pro plot was really about a father who assembles a group of mercenaries to go into the quarantine zone to rescue his daughter in the okay. middle of a zombie outbreak. But I hear that they're kind of doing away with some of those plot I feel elements. Like that's been done. 
before that whole yeah i think that's why they're, yeah. they might be changing that up a little bit but it's a heist movie set during a zombie apocalypse that's cool in las vegas so yeah. I, I, that sounds pretty fun to me that kind of sounds like the heist part's okay but like it sounds kind of like very similar to the uh night of the living dead sequel where they had that that vegas like city I oh think it sure. might have been vegas well actually. there was that um resident evil where they were yeah, in Las Vegas, yep. but pff, those movies are trash. It's it's kind of hard to get excited about it, though, and it's only because they just released the first look poster of Zombieland 2. Double, yeah, I'm like, kind of like, eh, I'm kind of over Zombieland 2. Oh, the first man. one was okay. It was it was really? fun, but I mean, it's to me, too much time has passed. And Really? Yeah. Oh, well, we'll I don't see. know. We'll see. Yeah. A trailer might change my mind, but we'll see about that one. Next up, real quick, Matt Reeves, The Batman, has a release date. Yes, finally. Finally. Uh <laughs> Supposedly, he's going to start shooting sometime in November, but it's set for release in uh, of June twenty fifth, twenty twenty one. So it's still a couple oh, of years so away. Insane, but you know what? Um, it's going to be straight up film noir. Yeah, um, which I, I think is awesome. Detective and story. Detective stories are are unbelievably hard to get right. Yeah, you know you can screw them up so easily. So I'm glad they're taking their time on the script and shit. Yeah, so. I trust in Matt Reeves, man. Yeah. Listen, let the right one in was a great remake of. I of, love that movie. Let me. It was yeah. really. It was, yeah, really, it was really good. Really good. Um, Planet of the Apes movies that he did were really good, so I'm uh, I'm I'm on board for Matt Reeves here with this wow. one. Now Ben Affleck is not going to be returning for this one. He was uh, originally going to be directing it and starring in it. Then they brought in Matt Reeves, and Matt Reeves was like he maybe he'll be starring in it. We don't know, but now it seems like he's completely out. Yeah, all right, that's fine. I, I first I have mixed feelings about this because uh, I liked him as Batman. I don't think he got a fair shake. Because the script in the studio shit uh, right. was all over the fucking place at the time, and he was caught in the middle, and that was like his debut. Right. And when I hear he's he's not necessarily out out, he still has an option to play Batman in further movies. But well, I think he was originally set to come back in Suicide Squad too, but apparently that's mm, probably going to change now if if James Gunn is bringing in all different. Uh, cast members and it's going to be a new story it we'll might. see i mean he doesn't really have to worry about it because they're bringing up a, a, in a, a younger version of batman yeah. so this takes place a long time right. before and he's already played like the older version, right so. but it's not going to be a uh, uh take on the year one batman year one that's what i heard that's yeah. what they said um there's going to be multiple villains there's going to be a rogues gallery matt reeves said so but uh, the only one we know for sur sure right now is penguin right so i don't even know that I, really yeah i haven't re i didn't see that's, that anywhere it's the only one i hear people like solid on i guess well that would be but, cool i would be happy i would be good with but, that one yeah. so that's that and lastly uh i want to say a big rest in peace to dick miller the yeah. veteran character actor died at the age of 90 you might remember him from uh he was a gun store owner in the terminator he was a garbage man in the yeah. burbs yep he was in gremlins he was in uh started in a bucket of blood old uh you know horror type movie slasher movie. bucket of blood piranha rock and roll high school uh the howling night of the creeps so yeah so he's been in a bunch of stuff uh you know nobody really knows his name but they'll recognize him from somewhere all right guys that's gonna do it for the news uh, oh <laughs> f this guy get out of here you piece of shit. Hey, we don't care. Star Wars, nothing but Star Wars. Give me those Star Wars.